What's up everybody? I'm here today with the Chris Cyborg and we're going to show you a few ways to do a loop choke. First, we're going to start from the third position. Okay, it's going to third place. So we're going to do the traditional, which is Chris bow up a little bit and they can, they can see it. I'm gonna get the collar with my right hand. Not too deep, my indicator should be around her collarbone. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna push her head to the outside. Now, sometimes they are close over here, the elbow on the mat. I need to pull the elbow. That's gonna be the first one. I create a room, now my head can enter. When my head enters, my hand goes on this side here. Now I'm gonna rope Chris to this side. Once I get to this point here, notice that. Look at my base. I'm gonna start pulling the collar slowly and I'm gonna scissor the legs. My fingers go to the mat, I pull, and slowly Chris is going to tap on the loop choke. That's the first one, okay? Second option, we're going to do exactly the same, same setup. Indicator go to her collarbone. So I'm gonna, this, this is a, a basket I make with my arm, which means that I bend my arm and I put her head in the basket. So which is, I push her head to the side. Once I do that, now next here, I'm gonna turn this angle over here. And you can turn around as well, please. Turn around, both of you turn around. So if my head goes to this side here, yeah, now I'm gonna reach on this arm. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. So now I'm gonna turn this way for space. Yeah, so, all right, so my head goes here to grab on this side of her arm. Once I do that, my legs, I'm gonna walk towards her legs, I'm gonna pull the collar and I'm going to pull the arm. There it is, it's a tap. If Chris doesn't tap, what we'll do here, I see her right arm, I fish the arm by getting my arm under the head once again, and we'll go for the first one again and finish the loop choke. Sometimes, when we get this loop choke over here, I put her head on the basket, and I'm trying to go under. Chris, take your knees off the mat, Chris. Take, take it, the knee, take the knees, both of her knees. There you go, and go up a little bit, there you go. She's posturing up, posturing up. It's hard for me to go over there. I still can do exactly the same, or I can go fancy on the leg, tuck the head under. See, I'm grabbing the, the leg. Now I start moving towards Chris. Legs and pull the collar, and once again, Chris is going to tap on the loop choke. So I pull her head on the basket. She goes up a little bit, there you go. I can reach, I go under, reach the other leg, get my head under, and exactly the same. I'm pulling her leg towards me. Now I start moving towards her legs, and we're going to finish on the loop chop. So we can start this one here. For example, if we wanna to put together, uh, if you Chris, put your back on the mat for a second, please. So we're here, we're, we're training, yeah? So I'm doing the, let's say, the knee slice by grabbing the collar here. And Chris, she goes on her knees. Go on your knees, Chris, go on your knees. She goes on your knees, go on your knees. There it is, there is a loop choke right there, ready. Or go under the arm and then come up and then finish the loop choke. So play around with the option one, two, and three and see how it goes.